Hello everyone, welcome back to this new tutorial. Shal here from Driver Studio and today we will learn how to create a volumetric and prism effect with Duoscore. At the end of this tutorial, we will be able to create effect like this one and also this one I have made for my Instagram page. You can see here at Driver Studio on Instagram and you will be able to understand how it is made and have a fun. Okay, so let's delete uh, the camera and the light here. Add another camera and uh, let's rotate this camera on the y axis for well, 90 degree. Increase, place the camera. Let's also switch to the score here and switch the engine from path to be directional. It is much easier and also split the window so we have our preview done here it is much faster for the smaller windows also let's model our prisma pyramid and let's join this guy and add a bevel here Set the bevel a little bit smaller and also reduce the size adds another plane to receive the caustic from the prism here on this side for example and uh, okay let's also add the spotlight to produce the caustic on the y-axis and let's uh, change the value here so go for lumen to easy manipulation and also i reduce the shape here okay so that's much visible okay then let's increase the size of this guy save uh, caustic prism and now we go here to change the render view and the crop version switch to material change the material of the glass to of the prism to glass and now switch to volume and we create two volume here one will be air and the second will be uh, fog so let's change the fog check an output and add a volume uh, for the fog it will be homogeneous volume this one and no IOI for this one and scattering to point one okay and also for the air we need to add output volume and volume will be clear volume then the iowa to one and save then select the camera and in the camera setting you have a setting called a stereo volume auto detect and check and switch to air we create this air and switch to this air then select your spots and in spots you will see the exterior volume so let's try to render first and see what's changed let's uh, go to no sky here and try again and as you can see we don't see a lot of thing mm. and it is clearly boring so let's switch here and select here the exterior volume of the spot here to be fog so now we are able to see the the light rays from the spot here so if i increase here to 50 you see clearly that we have this guy here okay now we have to go to the material of the prism so we can change a few things and make it a big uh, a bit uh, more interesting so first thing to do is uh, to add 
a volume here for our cube yeah so we can change uh, our depend on us you can put 1.3 if you want and if you check clearly you can see that increasing the IOA will change or decreasing will change the caustic reflection you see so depending on what you want you can change it here you can also change the color so it change the resulting color of the caustic you can make the color stronger by reducing the absorption volume here and you see it is interesting okay so i leave it uh, to uh, white okay to pure white and you can add also even if you want a small dispersion on it So we get the okay. So we get the rainbow color here also. And now we can go to this one and make it a bit uh, stronger. See, we have the reflection, and also we can try to make the caustic to appear a bit on the my part of okay something like this okay so now here in the render part you can use clamping to go faster let's use 20 and also you can switch to metropolis it's much better for this kind of render switch the resolution to 50 percent will be faster and also we can try to add more light so we see the uh, pyramid here a bit better or another trick is to instead of use a clear volume here we can use homogeneous volume so let's choose the same uh, refraction here and also change it here to the interior volume so by adding a bit of a particle with the scattering inside of the, the the prism we are able to see it as light is bouncing inside we can reduce it or increase it like this also enable me to scattering to make it much easier to see and if you are done with it you can go here and launch your render and as you can see it is starting and looking uh, quite correct and nice if we have the noise enable we can we can have even faster render and use alt condition to stop the render at a given value so i use sample uh, and render it okay as you can see it it is a bit noisy because this person is quite uh, uh computer it's quite uh, hard to compute so I will switch to I will switch the dispersion off so we better see the the render going a bit faster. There is less light uh, or less the color inside of the render, but you can get them back by using a bit of color maybe on your volumetry. So for example uh, go to the volumetric window panel here set up the fog and instead of this pouring color we see here we can just switch to this yellow color and change the depth so that if you see if we put 0.1 0.5 it can update the fog here one second Uh, 
okay you see with five meter we have the the color the exact color and we can with 10 meter or 15 meter and change the color here let me just uh, add the scattering and instead of this use 20 meter and you see we have a bit of coloring inside here we can just uh, let it like this and we'll be okay if you come to the render and launch again we see that it is rendering and because we have uh, light passing through glass and then uh, a bit of scattering inside this prisma you can see that uh, we have a bit of noise but it clean quite uh, fast and easy and one more thing i want to tell you is that uh, currently we have this look but if you also want to have your camera looking in the dirt and see the fog you can just switch from air here to fog and relaunch the render and you will see that the camera is also affected by the fog here so this is the principle if you change you see here like this okay so thank you for watching and see you the next time